Hello everyone. We all need a secure environment. In this video, we are going to discuss network security integration and see a demo with Palo Alto. My name is Harika and joining me today is Nidhi from the Palo Alto Networks team. Before we begin an understanding of network virtual router appliance like Palo Alto, NextGen Firewall Enterprise and Geneve Tunnels will be helpful as we explore the demo. Are you currently using a Palo Alto network virtual appliance to monitor or intercept your traffic? Let me guess. Your architecture might look something similar to this where we could adapt multi-nic VMs. But what if the VPCs are too many? Should we then work with the VPC network peering? How about when you have too much traffic and scaling is required? Have you been deploying two groups, one to handle ingress traffic while the other group to handle egress traffic? While these architectures helped in getting things done, there are several challenges associated with these. In the first approach, where we relied on multi-NIC VMs, note that the additional NICs cannot be added on the go. As we add VPCs to the architecture, a redeployment of a network virtual appliance is required to modify anything for the NICs. Having said that, a VPC peering can be a savior here. And a static route with NextHop ILB, IP address works like a charm. However, this approach is subject to quotas and limits, non-transitive and also creates high impact on managed offerings like CloudSeq if a private service access is involved. With the additional caveats, the static routes with ILB as next hop paired with source NAT and destination NAT on the VM appliance makes it even more complex architecture. We did work with a lot of different enterprise customers who uses third-party appliances for security and the top requirement is an ability to insert network security transparently. Organizations want the ability to insert network security without having to re-architect or make networking changes to their application deployment. Prior architectures required that customers centralize their application networking around their next-gen firewalls, also making network security insertion into brownfield customers challenging. Finally, customers want a broad ecosystem of partner services natively supported. We have a solution for all of these now. Enhance your Google Cloud VPC with advanced network security. For complete insight into your Google Cloud VPC network traffic and the robust security for your workload, consider leveraging specialized appliances from third-party independent software vendors. These purpose-built solutions like the deep packet inspection engines allow you to analyze not just the protocol headers, but also the actual payload of your network packets. When these appliances are deployed in a bump in a wire mode, you gain enhanced and advanced security without needing to alter your existing network routing policies. Network security integration comes in two different flavors, out of band that helps in mirroring with predefined rules and an in band that helps in the packet interception that supports advanced network security protections. The scope of this video is limited to network security integration in band and here is a quick sneak peek of NSI in band architecture. In band integration places third party network appliances directly in the path of network traffic. This allows transparent inspection. It uses Geneve encapsulation to securely send packets to the appliance without altering the source and the destination IP address. By placing a third-party firewall, you can perform deep packet inspection and block unauthorized access in real time. Let's understand the architecture more deeply. In-band integration is a service-centric approach wherein you have a producer and a consumer. Producers can publish scalable set of third-party network appliances as an intercept deployment. Producers register their inspection VMs, which can be third-party tools, as backends to an internal pass-through network load balancer. These appliances inspect traffic redirected to them. Each zone where VMs are deployed, the producer creates an intercept deployment. This zonal resource acts as a local service center point and points to the load balancer's forwarding rule. To enable consumer connectivity, producers group these zonal deployments into a single global intercept deployment groups. The intercept deployment group is the resource consumers connect to. Producers use IAM to strictly control which consumers can access and utilize their inspection services. In-band service consumer use 
cloud next-gen firewall policies to precisely redirect the traffic for inspection by a producer appliance. This process involves establishing a secure link and defining the scope and rules for redirection. The consumer creates a global intercept endpoint group, which is the consumer's link that connects directly to the producer's intercept deployment group. The intercept endpoint group is linked to the specific VPCs where the traffic needs to be inspected via an intercept endpoint group association. The consumer creates a custom intercept security profile that refers their intercept endpoint groups. This profile is then placed into a security profile group. A, a firewall policy rule is configured to select traffic based on the matching criteria and redirect it to the security profile group. This action forces the selected traffic to be routed through the producer's inspection service before proceeding. Interception happens on traffic that matches designated firewall rules. Let's talk about the customer workflow for NSI service insertion. For deep packet inspection for their packets, the consumer configures a firewall policy and rules to redirect the traffic to the producer. For a packet that matches the firewall rule, the packet is encapsulated using the Geneva encapsulation that preserves the source and the destination IP address of the packet and adds information about the producer service. Based on the security profile in the security profile group that is specified in the network firewall policy, the encapsulated packet is sent to the consumer's intercept endpoint group. The intercept endpoint group transports the encapsulated packet to the corresponding intercept deployment group in the producer's VPC network. The internal pass-through network load balancer in the producer's network receives the encapsulated packet and distributes it to one of the VMs in the backend for inspection. After the appliance completes its inspection, it sends the packet back to the intercept endpoint group in the consumer's network through the producer's intercept deployment group. When the intercept endpoint group receives the packet, it decapsulates the packet, removes the GenF header and restores the original packet. The packet is then forwarded to its original destination based on the routing policy. Let's dive into the architecture of the demo. We have a web VM on the consumer VPC that makes a request to the internet. The request is evaluated against the rules within the network firewall policy associated within the consumer VPC. The request matches the egress rule that specifies the security profile group as its action. The request is then encapsulated through the endpoint association to the producer environment. Within the producer environment, the intercept deployment group directs traffic to the intercept deployment located in the same zone as the web VM. The internal load balancer forwards the traffic to an available firewall for deep packet inspection. If the firewall permits the traffic, it is returned to the web VM via the consumer endpoint association and the local route table of the consumer VPC routes the traffic to the internet via the cloud net. The session is established with the internet destination and is continuously monitored by the firewall. Nidhi, could you please show the configuration and the demo with an example traffic flow? The deployment can be done using the Terraform scripts in this GitHub repository. This repo has steps to deploy both inline and out of band deployments. Let's check the demo. I have deployed the environment with producer and consumer elements using the Terraform. Let's check the resources in the producer first. We have the intercept deployment group available and active. Checking the deployment group, we notice that the group is associated with the intercept endpoint group PAN EPG. The intercept deployment group has the intercept deployment with load balancer and forwarding rule of the firewall. From the consumer resources, we see that we have the intercept endpoint group, PAN EPG, which is associated with the deployment group. From the Google Cloud Console, let us check the firewall rules within the consumer VPC.
we notice that the firewall rules are configured for L7 redirection. This policy redirects the traffic towards the firewall resources in the producer. We will now check the configuration on the firewalls. We have Ethernet 1 slash 1 configured to receive traffic from the resources. Also, we have enabled Geneve inspection command from bootstrapping of the firewall. The interface management profile has been created for enabling the load balancer health check for the firewall. We also have a security policy created with security checks enabled. These security services can be customized from the object section. Now let us send some traffic. Log into the client VM. From the host machine, let us send outbound traffic and access a malicious URL. The access gets blocked because the URL is identified under command and control category. From firewall, we see the traffic logs and the URL category shows the threat being identified and the URL is blocked. Thank you so much, Nidhi. To learn more about network security integration in BAN, please check out the documentation links in the description. And thank you so much for watching.